Hello and welcome to the 20 differences between benign tumors and malignant tumors. So, um, we'll differentiate in terms of the features. So, I'll be able to show you the features and I'll be starting with the benign tumors followed by the malignant tumors. So, we start, we'll be starting with the growth rate as one of the first factor. Find that in benign tumors, the benign tumors are normally slow and controlled, whereas malignant tumors are rapid and uncontrolled. In terms of inversion, um, we have benign tumors, we have localized and they are normally con uh, contained, okay? Whereas for malignant, they are invasive, so they keep on spreading to nearby tissues, okay? So uh, in terms of metastasis, uh, benign tumors rarely metastasize, uh, whereas ma malignant tumors can metastasize to distant, to distant sites, and they'll always target the brain, the liver, the kidneys, the lungs, okay, bones, and the other vital body organs. Let's look at cell differentiation. So for benign tumors, the uh, we have well differentiated cells okay close to being normal okay well differentiated whereas for the malignant they are poorly differentiated cells are plastic cells abnormal abnormal cells in terms of en uh, encapsulation uh, benign tumors are often encapsulated whereas these one are not encapsulated thus they are free can move to very distant areas in terms of mitotic activity we have low mitotic rate in benign tumors as compared to high mitotic rate in malignant tumors when you look at the cell architecture this one they resemble close to normal cells okay that's why we say they are well differentiated cells whereas uh, malignant tumors they have altered tissue architecture and therefore they are poorly differentiated and anaplastic the plastic cells. Look at the, the nucleus. Here for the benign tumors, we have a uniform normal sized nucleus. Uh, here in malignant, you find that they are variable and we could have enlarged nucleus. Growth characteristics, so the benign uh, tumors, they expand within a confined space, whereas uh, malignant, they invade surrounding tissues. In terms of blood vessels, yeah, and angiogenesis, angiogenesis. So we have this one, before benign tumors, they rarely induce angiogenesis, but this one is often, they often in, uh, induce angio angiogenesis formation of new blood vessels in terms of recurrence it's less likely to reoccur after removal yeah like once you remove a lipoma okay you don't expect to get one okay we don't expect recurrence here but in malignant tumors there is a highly likely uh, of of reoccurring after after removal so we have Rarely systemic uh, symptoms in benign tumors, yeah, like fever, shields, very rare. But uh, malignant tumors, they have, uh, they, they are able to cause systemic infections. When you look at the prognosis, okay, so this one is generally favorable prognosis, but this one prognosis may vary. Uh, most of them you find it is very poor, okay. In terms of respond to treatments, so malignant tumors typically respond well to treatment as opposed to, uh, mali to uh, I beg your pardon, that uh, benign tumors typically respond well to treatment, okay, whereas malignant tumors may be resistant to, they may be resistant to, to treatment. So local inversion, you have said that this one is limited to uh, inversion of adjacent cells, Whereas uh, malignant, we could have extensive inversion of nearby nearby structures. So the clinical presentation, you find that malignant are often asymptomatic with non-specific symptoms, whereas uh, malignant may be present with specific uh, symptoms. Okay, there is a link 
on the signs and symptoms of cancer will be popping up. You can review on, uh, on the clinical presentation using the mnemonic caution, caution up. We have also the overall effect on, on health. We have malignant tumors here. We have um, less harmful to overall health, okay? Whereas the malignant tumors can significantly impact on the overall health of person. When you look at the DNA changes, we have few genetic mutation as opposed to malignant, which has accumulation of genetic mutation. Tissue destruction, we have minimal tissue damage in benign tumors as opposed to malignant tumors, which have significant tissue destruction. Ability to regress, uh, rarely regress uh, spontaneously, okay? But here may regress under certain conditions, okay? So guys, we can have the mnemonic, the mnemonic, careful to help us know the differences. Whereby C stands for cell differentiated. Yeah, they are well differentiated in benign as opposed to malignant. A stands for angiogenesis, blood vessels. So it's rare in malignant, but you find that angiogenesis is more common in malignant. In terms of recurrence, rarely reoccurs in benign as opposed to malignant. E will be standing for enscapulation. So benign are normally enscapulated as opposed to malignant, which are invasive. Fast growth, we have slow growth in benign as opposed to malignant. We also have the uniform nucleus. So uniform in uh, benign, okay, Uni uniform in uh, malignant. Local inversion, we have limited in benign local inversion in malignant asymptomatic yeah symptomatic in benign okay but you could be having some specific symptoms in malignant okay inversion this one is localized inversion inversion is uh, inversion is in a malignant it can spread to distant parts like the lungs the bones okay mitotic activity we say there is low mitotic activity in benign as opposed to malignant Okay, so guys, generally we should know that for benign tumors, uh, we can say that these are bodies hanging out, not causing trouble. So initially they are just good friends, okay, before later when they could now have the ability to pose problems. Whereas malignant, these are mad troublemakers, wrecking the party, okay metastasizing to distance part okay making it unfavorable for the for the patient okay so those are the 20 differences between benign and